Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert cross tab type of data to a regular table list type of data in Excel. Uh, this is an example of cross top data. So the cross top data is going to have some labels on top like this as columns and some labels here on the left as rows. And in the middle, you will have corresponding values. So if you have, let's say for Steven, we have some value over here that's in North region over here. We would get, well, not Steven, right? We would get nothing. But if we get for Rhonda in North region, we would get this $156,000 with some change. That's what we're going to do. We're going to basically put this back into a regular table when there is no values on the left like this and it's basically just a column based table. So as an end result, what we're looking for is, for example, here we would have Midwest and this person here and this value will go here. Then we'll go for the next person in the next region and this is the value and that's the same person. And so it goes until we get to the next person here in a list, which will be like Jerry and we'll have for Jerry in Midwest, that's this much. So that's what we're trying to do only hopefully a lot faster than what I'm doing right here. So to be able to do this, we're going to use an add on for Excel that is called power query. Now, if you're on Excel 2016, it's actually built in. You don't need to do anything. It's built in right into Excel. If you're in 2013 or 2010 Excel versions, you will need to download the add-on from Microsoft website and install it. This is the link right here. If I remember, I will also put the link in the description line so you can go ahead and download the add-on and install it. And then you will have it's showing up right here on top. If you're in 2016, your Power Query is built in, which means you will have to go under Data tab and you will have an entire section here dedicated to it. So now let's get right to it. So let me actually transform this data. So it's gonna be actually pretty fast. All I have to do first is convert this to a table. So to convert it to a table, I will highlight my table, go under Insert and click on this table. It's gonna ask, does it have headers? Headers meaning this labels on top, yes. So I'm gonna hit okay, that's good. So this point on top here, see now we have design tab under table tools and we have a name for the table. So I'll just go ahead and rename this table, call it initial data. Make sure you don't use any spaces in this name or so it's gonna give you an error. So that's my table, it's called initial data. So now that I have this table, I'll click in there someplace. I'm gonna go under Power Query tab here on top, and then I'm gonna click From Table. And that's gonna grab this table and put it right into Power Query. So this window is gonna show up. Okay, so in order for me to do this, I'm going to have to transfer all of these regions to values in our table. So I'm going to click on the first region, I'm going to press and hold Shift and click on the last one, to select all of them. I'm not selecting the first column. I'll go under transform tab here on top and I'm going to do this thing that's called on pivot columns. I'm gonna click on that and that is going to do exactly what I described. So now all we have to do is probably rename this. So the first thing should be region. And the second thing will be I guess amount. And at this point, it's already done. If you want to assign some data types, you can say, well, this particular column that says an amount, maybe it's a decimal or it's a number, or you can choose a type. This is fine the way it is. Everything looks good. So all I have to do at this point, go back under home and see this close and load. I will click on that and do close and load again and it's going to create a new tab for us here in Excel see sheet one which has exactly what I was describing we needed and that's how you can convert your cross tab table 
to a regular list table. And that's commonly referred to as unpivoting. Okay, so that was hopefully pretty simple to get it done. Now I'm gonna get to this tab. Now in this tab, we have kind of a mix. It's a mix of pivoted data over here with some regular row-to-row -row data. And what I want to do again, I want to make sure that instead of having this 2013 values here, 2014 values here and 2015 values here, instead I want to transform this so that it lists that this was in 2014. So I want to have a column year over here and that should say it's 2014 and a column amount that will give me the value of that here. And then for the next one, we'll get like 2013 and we'll list the amount for that and so on. Okay, instead of having these, which will help us with pivoting and breakdowns and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to undo this things I just did and let's get to doing this. So again, we can use Power Query to get this done really quickly. So I'll go ahead and transform this table to a table. So again, you can either highlight it or you can, if your data is good and clean, you can click on one cell and it should be good to go. So I'm gonna go under insert table and it has headers, okay. Rename this for good practice, call it uh, sales data. And now I will click inside of this table, go under Power Query, and again, from table. It's gonna get back to this. And now you basically just have to be uh, mindful which columns you're selecting when you're trying to do this. So right now the columns I'm trying to transform are these columns over here, 2013, 2014, 2015. So I'll go ahead and select those. And then again, I'll go under Transform, and I'll do on pivot columns. It's done. So I'll have to just rename this. This is year. This is amount. And go back under home, close and load. And it's all set. That's my new data set. So I transformed this to this. Let's name it something. Okay, perfect. So the last thing I'm going to show you here is this example. So we have this mixed list. So I commonly see data that comes like this. So what we have, we have this data set that shows us our cost of good sales and net all mixed together. If you try to pivot this, this will be kind of ugly looking data to do pivoting because what we should have instead of having all of these values here we should have different columns for sales net and cost of goods and the amounts for those columns below instead of having this different rows for those so we don't want to have a separate row for cost of goods then another separate row for sales and then yet another row for net that doesn't make much sense from the data standpoint Okay, so now let's transform this. So I'm gonna do insert table. So that's gonna, again, create a table out of this. So I will call this mixed data. So now that I have this as a table, I'll go here again, click from table, that gets me here. And now I'm gonna go back to transform and I have to decide what I'm going to do here. So what I will do in this particular case, I'm going to click on this type column, which is what I need to transform into columns here because I don't want to have this in rows separately. And I'm going to click pivot columns. So now instead of unpivoting, I'm pivoting it. So I'll pivot column, that gets here. So now it's gonna ask me, okay, so you told me you want to pivot the column type but what's the corresponding value for that? So for cost of goods, that's gonna be this amount value here. For sales, it's gonna be this. So amount column is where we're getting our values. 
So I'm going to go here and values is going to be from amount column. And then I'm going to go under advanced options. And instead of aggregating something, I'm going to open this and switch it to don't aggregate. Now I'm going to hit OK. And that should do that. See, now we have three columns and the values are pulled in the way they are supposed to be. Now just go back under home, close and load, close and load. And there's our data. You will need to probably format this if necessary, but I'm sure you can figure that out. So there we have it. That's our table as a result. Okay, so to finally finish this video, I'm going to show you a couple of extra data transformation techniques. For that, let me just right click here and unhide this worksheet. So basically here we have this data. This data is not in a very good shape. Uh, we need to get it to a shape where we can do some pivoting and basically make it more workable. In order for me to do that, I'm basically just going to just for now grab I'm starting from here because I'm looking at this as my column labels so I will just start from there drag it down that's my data I'm not including this bottom text part in it so I'll go under insert table it has headers okay so call it milk production. So that's looking pretty good. Maybe we should just rename this columns here right away. So this is cows milk per cow. And, you know, if I had a lot of columns, I would probably do some text join operation to get this together. But for a few columns like this, this is fine. that and replacement cow price okay that's our table so again I'll go back and we'll just do this from a table here we go now we need to transform this data set now what I need to do, first of all, I don't need this nulls, so I'm going to right click remove that column. I don't need this one, I'm going to remove that column too. Now what I do need is a column for years, so this is like 1998, so this should be like, we should need a column that says 1998, 1998, and it should return the year multiple times here, and here it should say 1999 and 2000 and so on. So to be able to get that column, I'm going to copy this first column. So I'm going to right click and duplicate this column. There is that column. And the way I'm going to accomplish that, so if we look at this, all of our years, 1998, 1999, 2000, those are numbers or something that looks like a number, but it's really number-like. And the rest is just text or blank. So our null is basically blank. So for that reason, I'm going to grab this column and I'm going to go and change the data type for that column. So see how the data type right now is any. I'm going to click on that and switch to whole number. So whole number should be all of those like years, 1998, 2000 and so on. So everything else, see, gets an error or it's a null. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go under transform and I'm going to do replace errors and I'll replace those errors with null. So now that it's all blank, now we just have the years. 
I'll go here under fill and do fill down. And what fill down is going to do, it's going to grab the first number on top and it's going to fill the rest until it hits the next number. And then the next number is going to drag all the way down and so on, which is exactly what we're looking for. So fill down, there it is, 1998, 1999, 2000, see, now we have our column there. So this point, I also need to remove like this extra rows that are necessary. So I don't need this year rows with all these nulls because we transformed our years over here. I don't need this blank rows. I don't need this. So if you see basically the pattern here, for example, if I look at this column, it's basically a bunch of nulls. So wherever we have nulls in this column, we don't want them. So I'll go here and I'll filter nulls out of that, which is our blanks. So those are gone. That's looking already pretty good. We're gonna rename this column year. Okay, and here it's basically we have our quarters or whatever those things are. The only thing here is that in addition to our quarters, see we have the average column. We don't want these averages here. We want to clean that up. So I'm gonna filter this and apparently it found two variations of that text. So I'm gonna uncheck both of them, hit okay. And now averages are gone too, and we have the rest of our data. So this already looks pretty clean and nice. Let's see if there's anything else we have to do. So it appears we have some NAs as text here. So that's not great. We don't want to mix up our numbers with NAs here. I don't want to go through all of these columns to figure out where I have an ace. So instead what I'm going to do, I'm going to transform some data types again. So I'll click on this and I'll choose my data type from any. I'm going to switch this to a whole number. This one, I'll switch it to decimal number because we have some decimal points. This is a whole number again. What is this decimal point? This two are whole numbers. So select those, whole number. Perfect. So what should happen is because those NAs were not numbers, we should get errors instead. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all those columns from here through here. I'll go under replace errors and I'm going to replace them with null again, basically just make them blank. Hit OK, scroll down, see now all those NAs are nulls. This looks pretty good, so now I'll go back under home, close and load, close and load. And that's our clean data. Now we came to this pretty quickly from taking this and transforming it to this nice data set. All right, and that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.